There we see that DFC flyweight belt. Here we go! Just quietly, this is my pick for fight of the night. I am so excited for this. I think these boys bring out the best in each other. And this is the first ever amateur title that DFC has put on. First of many, I assume. Sam bullying him straight to the cage. Double under hooks. Deep under two. But the cage grappling of Zach is something I've heard a lot about. He's doing a lot of the right things. He's using that overhook. He looks like he's trying to pummel that left hand. They're both using head position very well. Softening up those inside of the legs there. Sam trying to trap that inside leg there. So he's trying with that leg if he wants to do, but he's trying now. Good reversal. Great surfing by Gregson. Great head battle at the moment with the both of them. Yeah, I'd like to see Zach using a little bit better head movement. I think if he can use his forehead against Sam's chin, then he'll be able to grind him a little bit better. Great drop he his gets weight. his hands together, though. Sam going for a ride. There it is. Now it's about securing that control. Now, if Sam is Zach the tries to engage in a submission battle here, I, I don't know that that's necessarily the, what, his path to victory. Mind you, Sam is getting that guillotine locked on. That needs to be real careful. Like I said, it doesn't matter if he's underneath. Sam will find a way. That's the kind of guy that he is. Mind you... Letting go I of would that. definitely let go of that because, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say the Von Flew choke is right there. Good guard recovery. Right. That was excellent. Recovery from, from Warren. Is that getting good base? These are five three minute rounds. Is that trying really solid control of the hips of Sam? But he's not really landing very much or doing very much with it. Like, you never want to be the guy on bottom striking, but Sam is actually throwing more strikes and probably even doing more damage from bottom at the moment. Look at the arm. Final seconds of round one. Couple of nice little shots. Ten seconds. Zach just needs to put an exclamation mark on this. Good round. Very even round. No one taking any risks so far. Well, I mean, it's a five-round fight. You wouldn't want to be taking too many unnecessary risks. I don't think necessarily that this is the point where you start selling out. What I find interesting is it looks like Sam is fresh. Like, he's fine, even though he was on bottom. Zach, though, he's breathing very heavily. Responding well to coaching, though. Second down. Second down, round two. Start a second round. That is the Zach Gregson I've heard about. Let's see it. Oh, he's wobbling. Shoots him for the double. That's a big double. Going for a ride. 
Now, luckily for Sam, he's in his corner. He's going to get all the technical instruction he could need. You can see Matt Becker and Kim Johnson giving technical instruction. But the thing is, Zach is just swarming him. Staying on top, staying heavy, not giving opportunity to get back to his feet. Sam needs to be framing He's to try and stand back up. Sam. There's a frame. He's starting to get it. Needs to shift his hips. He's unable to do it. Zach did a great job of shutting that down. Warren did a great job of controlling the posture. Zach kind of trapping that arm. Very nice. Locking him down. Sam trying to use the cage. Did a great job of controlling the posture. Yeah, Zach just using it to be able to control Sam though. Trying to pin that left arm down. Ooh. Yeah, Zach needs to be careful where that right arm is. But I mean, this is still all Zach. I cannot wait to see the replay of that just push kick. <laughs> Watch out for that arm. Gregson could almost just toss her up and start landing. Great oh, job. good. Oh, wow. Yeah, Sam needs to get his neck out of that. Great job by Warren to get that out of there. Oh, 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 oh again with oh, a front oh. kick. He wow. is finding a home for that repetitively. Oh, that busted his nose. Yeah, well, it's interesting because Sam was trying to line something up. Oh, big knee. That might have woke up Sam. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sam so is definitely so angry. So I told you, this kid finds a way. And Zach looks way more tired. The fitness of Sam Warren. Big judo throw, though, but gives up the back doing it. You do not want to give your back. Oh, man, just spin through. Zach on top. Keeping pressure with that I leg can't through. quite see where that blood's coming out. I can't really get the nose. triangle from here because of the leg. Zach trying to land from top. I think the blood might be coming from Warren's mouth. Is it? I, I don't even know. Oh. Those kicks. I didn't mean his jaw that it caught him. Here's the first of the front the kick. Boom. Just a correction there, folks. It's the third of five rounds. We seem to have lost James White, but I'm sure someone's notifying him now. He's got another two rounds to go. I didn't quite see in that replay where Warren's cutting. All right, here we go. Third final round. Five fans, somebody make some noise. That is a crowd reaction. Oof. Again, finding a home for that kick. Man, Sam is swarming now. Whoa! Big right hand. That back, Sam, oh, right up. Straight to the body. And then Zach going back with the rest of them. I think he just needs to stay on the strikes. Zach controlling Foster. He's got his arms in and the hips are really high. Working here. Looking for the triangle. Look at 
know if that's blood from Sam from early in the round or whether he's opened up his jaw again. It's definitely not his nose. Zach's doing a great job with his head position in order to be able to just smother and control. Ooh, that triangle attempt. Oh, it's close. Sam's not content. Warren's scrambling. But there's side control again. Trying to pin that arm down. Pinned. Back to half guard. Little shoulder strikes. I was wondering when someone's going to try one of them. Well, once a certain infamous star makes it famous, everyone's got to give it a crack, right? Oh, good on a attempt. Sam just staying busy from the bottom. And this is what he needs to do. He needs to use his fitness advantage to just keep moving. Big push away. Zach just comes straight back. Oh, straight Ooh. with the up kick. About 30 seconds left in the third round. Ooh, again with the up kick. Again. That one might have hurt him. Oh, he's going in for that triangle. Zach needs to posture. Great defending by Zach. Great posture, but he's put himself straight back in it. Oh, that's that a deep armbar. Arm that is a tight armbar. He needs to switch from Zach the... bends his arm, but he puts himself in the triangle again. He's got 10 seconds left close to it. If Sam changes the angle, he can get this. Sam's trying to shift now. 10 seconds left in the third it round. It is not long. That triangle is on tight. Can he weather the storm? Zach is just trying to last through it. Wow. Woo. Two rounds to go. I'm glad we've got more. Woo. Well, I could not be more pleased to have more rounds. Oh, championship rounds coming up. Thank you, Julia. Coming up round number four. I think you're right with your pick of the uh, pick and fly of the night. Sticker for five rounds DMC flyweight title. Great transition from Sam here. He's seen get the leg free. Gregson ate two up kicks. The triangle set up, locked on. He had that arm in front of us. He could have probably wrenched a bit more, but the cage positioning would have made it a lot harder for him to wrench on it. Thanks for the shout out there, Mr. White. All right. Let's see what the strategy is here. Fourth round. I want to see more of these front kicks. Man, Zach is exhausted though. Sam has a real advantage in the fitness here. And Sam is a personal trainer. He works out all day, then goes to the gym at night and works out more. He sure does. Go off the judo throw. That dude is like the Ever Ready Bunny. On the other hand, he just winds up in these stifling positions where he's just being smothered. And it makes it so hard to be able to utilize that fitness. Right inside. Oh, the foot stomp again. Watch out for the judo throw again. Warren's going for it. Oh, Sam doing a great job of reversing. Oh, God, the Kimura. Single leg. Should have watched the Kimura. I'd love to see Zach hit the switch here. I know he knows it. He's trying to just do a Kimura grip. But I'd rather see him just switch on that hip. If he reaches his right hand through and underneath the groin and then just turns. Sam's going to slide matches. that foot out. Yeah, smother him, just get to that ankle and just crush him. And you can see the fitness difference is making all the difference here. Go for a knee ride. Oh, hard shots against the cage. Sam is just going to hold him down. This is where Sam's right. Oh, great through. roll for Beautiful roll Might have given up his back. 
But he's content to stay on bottom. He's got the rubber Hits guard the rubber as well. Guard, yeah. He's going to use the rubber guard to control the posture here. His posture control is important. He's well, through the triangle. His own. He's trying to use punches to be able to break the posture. He just needs to change the angle. If he can just turn out. Underhook a leg and then just turn he out. Is, oh, he's, he's, he's got rushing. time. That's a hard way triangle. He's got to move the arm across. He's got to switch to the other side. He switched his angle, but he went the wrong way. Big slam. Big slam, him. but that was a bad mistake. That if you slam in a cheap. triangle and it doesn't <laughs> knock the dude out, you're going to be an even tighter. Zach just needs to swap the triangle, just switch sides. Sam slided arm through. Could be getting out of this. Side. He just keeps going after that side. If he's going after that side, I feel like he should be going for like a Kimura or something. Go the arm again. The arm. There's an arm bar there. Just needs to push his leg across his face. There we go. There we go. Oh, Sam is in deep here. Sam is in really, really deep. He knows where he is, though. He's just crushing. He's got five seconds. He tried to punch, this. so he really needs to make sure he doesn't do that. Oh, wow. man. Fifth and final round coming up next. Woo! What a fight. Ending the third and the fourth. And seconds away from finishing. Great roll through. Straight to the rubber guard. And final round. Here we see Sam gets up and goes to the slam, but ends up tighter in there. Yeah, I mean, it was really just a matter of, like, he just needed to pivot to the opposite side for this triangle. Gregson is breathing very heavily. Warren's still looking fresh. Something has to give him this final round. I am so glad I'm not in the judge's position right now. Even Sam's starting to show fatigue now. I just saw him bounce off the cage there. Both boys know what's at stake. No one willing to give an inch. Zach looks like he's in a second wind. Sam just coming forward. There's a lot more explosiveness from Zach here. Big kick. Nice jab. Oh, up great uppercut. Yeah, this is... He's this a little bit loose I now. I feel Zach needs to stay, but Sam is swarming him again. Sam is looking for that entry. Here it comes. There's a circle off. Three, two. Oh, Zach, Zach initiates first. Straight to a clinch. Zach needs to overhook and whizzer. Almost got the hands passed. He's crushing him. Golf the single. He could potentially trip that leg away if he switches body weight. Great wide base from Gregson. Yeah, absolutely. And the problem is that Sam has really uh, damaged posture here. He's bent over. So when you're bent over like that, it's so much harder to be able to get any kind of lift. It's what they tell you directly not to do when you do like a deadlift or something. Because if you bend that back, it's so hard to be able to lift. Effectively dead weight at the moment. Did a great job of controlling Sam's posture. I mean, this is good. This is good for Zach. I, I think he's probably ahead on the scorecard, so he's content to wait here. I think Sam needs to break away and just start throwing hands. But great strength, big. So landed the guillotine. But he's in, yeah, he's absolutely in that guillotine. It's and his arm's tight as well. Let's go. His, his right arm, arm is trapped. Yeah, his arm is trapped, and that makes it hard. But I don't think. I don't think Zach's actually got what he needs to be able to crush the other side of the neck. Quite reach around there. Sam looks like he's had a lot of room to breathe. Yeah, but Sam's not got a lot of options to be able to get out of here. He can and the problem roll is he's got to, he's, I think he's got to sell out. He's just got to give up this position and just roll. You can't wait for the referee to restart you here. <laughs> you are trapped. We have a few moments of this fifth and final round. Five fans make sense of now. 
such an awkward position with Ian. That is a really awkward position, and it's really, really hard for Sam to get There we go. Here. Now we can get that arm in and go for the choke. No, he's never going to hit that there, but he's still got Sam totally trapped, and there's nothing Sam can do to be able to win the minutes of this round. Is that on top? Should I posture up, or is he just going to sit there and hold him for the neck? I think he's just going to hold for the neck. I think he should sit up and just tee off. Now he's going for that neck. Warren's got two hands on defending. He's just content to hold on at the moment. Wow, what a fight. This is going to be so hard Crazy to score. Fight. Wow. First ever amateur title fight in DFC history delivered. Yeah, absolutely. I know that a lot of people were concerned that without the professional fights, it wouldn't be as exciting a night. But wow, these boys showing you that you can rely on them for an exciting fight. Proud getting their money's worth out of that fight. Worth the price of admission alone. So hard to pick that. Once again, our sponsor is Mana from Supplement Warfare. We want to thank you for your association with DFC from the very beginning. Thank you very much. We really appreciate you, buddy. Top man. Thank you. Who will be crowned the DFC Flyweight Champion after five grueling three minute rounds of action? Warren or Gregson? Almost impossible to pick this one. Warren or Gregson? Oh, I can't hear you. Warren or Gregson? And I think as the boys step forward, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause is well deserved. Ladies and gentlemen, after five seven rounds of action, the DFC flyweight champion this evening comes way on. Wait to see who they find for Zach. 